If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how can note-taking improve the performance of project managers. My name's Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the scientifically proven next generation note-taking and planning technique. I've been helping experienced professionals and a lot of project managers improve their performance when managing knowledge for the past 20 years. So, note-taking. We've done it forever since we were at school. We're now doing it in the workplace. Not much difference. It's not very exciting, but we have to do it. The choice is we could sit in that important client or colleague meeting um, and just listen. But we know that actually we're gonna forget really important things. And as experienced project managers, we have to be able to really keep on top of all the knowledge that uh, is being shared. So there are two crucial things in our day-to-day -day work life. One is relationships, the other is knowledge. We're usually pretty good at this. This we're pretty good at, but the more demanding the situation, the more complexity, the, mis the more disjointed nature of what people are sharing, this can become really burdensome. So I'm going to share with you a really simple way of upgrading uh, previous generation note-taking to what I call next generation note-taking. And the magical formula is just increasing two percentages. Percentage RTU and percentage GA. Increase those two and you have a competitive edge over all other project managers within your own organization and elsewhere. And I'll explain what those percentages are in a moment. So I've done a lot of project management in my time and I know you know going to the meeting speaking with people you know it's part of the bread and butter of my sort of day-to-day -day life but it's crucial that I'm able to keep on top of everything people are saying and what I found was that you know after 45 minutes of getting a detailed download from someone or a group of people the more complexity the more terminology the more theoretical um, just the sheer volume and it put me under a lot of pressure, particularly, I wasn't sure if I was asking all the necessary questions, I wasn't sure if I was spotting everything, because sometimes, you know, the projects that uh, we're involved in can be in the hundreds of thousands, they can be in the millions, so if we get something wrong, the risk is huge. The, si the solution though is really simple, and um, so what, what I realized is I needed to make a switch from just recording information to actually creating knowledge that I could use real time. So making a switch from previous generation note taking, which is a 2000 year old technique, hasn't changed in 2000 years, to next generation note taking where the emphasis is on real time understanding. And I'll show you how it all works. Um, the key, there are four keys to this. One is deep processing. Um, another one is deep filtering. Another one is a dynamic management of the knowledge and a dynamic overview of the knowledge. Get those four things right and it's literally, you know, it transforms our lives as it has done mine. And I'll show you how it works. So the first part is, as I mentioned, deep filtering. And so here we've got some uh, information, and I might have written this down verbatim or part verbatim. We need to find one quick technique to help good project managers uh, improve their performance and to help increase their confidence. So with a deep filter, I'm looking to just take out the relevant information. And here I'd probably do find one quick, and everyone will filter, deep filter differently, and that's normal. Um, technique. Uh, to help good project managers. I probably don't need that because that's, I know that this is what it's all about. Improve performance and to help there, I don't need that, increase confidence. So now I've done the deep filtering, the next part of the, the sort of magic formula is deep processing. And I'll sh again, I'll show you how it works. So I take, and the key with deep processing is a separation of all the information into single units and then reconnecting it. And that drives up the understanding, the real-time understanding. So here we go, we go find one quick, uh, where are we on that, technique, 
I abbreviate things. It helps with speed. Um, also helps with managing the knowledge on the page. Uh, improve performance. And increase confidence. So one of the results of the uh, of this deep deep filtering and then the deep processing, it completely changes everything because what it does increases real time understanding. So as I'm talking to you by doing this, my understanding is at a higher level than people who sit and listen and then people who are taking linear notes, whether on a pen and paper or on a laptop. And if you remember, I said there were two key percentages and this is one of them, percentage RTU. So the percentage of real-time understanding that we have when we're talking to our clients and our colleagues is crucial. Now, cognitive neuroscientists have found that if people are using uh, previous generation note-taking in a complex meeting or presentation, their RTU is about 64%, which is okay, but there's a lot of risk in there. When you make a switch to next generation note-taking and a next generation note-taking mindset, that RTU increases dramatically within just two weeks. It goes up 12%. 12 and then after a year, it goes up to 84%. So for all of us, when we're sitting in that complex meeting, our understanding, real-time understanding of what's happening is gonna be 20% greater than most of the other people in the room because of this deep filtering and deep processing. And for those of us with dyslexia, and I'm dyslexic myself, it actually goes even further. Our real-time understanding, after using next generation note-taking for a year, goes up 23% above that can be achieved by non-dyslexics who are sitting and listening or using traditional note-taking. Now, if you remember, I said there was another key percentage and that's percentage GA. And what I mean by that is glance access. So part of the, part of the key is understanding at a high level, but if we can't actually use that knowledge then in effect, we're relying on our short-term memory. So ideally what we wanna be able to do, and this is what Glance Access is, is be able to have an hour's worth of knowledge on one page. So I'll give you an example here. That's a one hour meeting. If I was using previous generation note-taking, that would have been about a page and a half, maybe two pages. Um, but here it's, well, it's actually on an A5 sheet, but I've got incredible Glance Access and literally I can see what was said 55 minutes in, 30 minutes in, five minutes in, I can ask questions around it, I can make links, I can generate ideas. It's really powerful. So straight away, and at a more detailed level, I find that easier myself to look at at a glance than that. But also what happens is I'm also able to access specific things um, very, very fast with glance access. So I'm able to see all the major headings very easily. Up here, usually the major, major headings are locked in a sentence somewhere. I'm also able to see relevant chunks and how they fit onto sort of headings. And that is really powerful because as soon as I see chunks and as soon as I see the headings, potentially those lead into more questions. So this is really, really simple and a really quick and easy way for me as a experience project manager of increasing my performance real time. Also, it makes my life much easier and less stressful. So if you've liked this uh, video, then please, you know, feel free to start making this switch, you know, doing deeper filtering, doing deeper processing, increasing your glance access. Um, please, please, you know, feel free to start using this, you know, feel free to start using, I've given you a bit of an introduction to Smart Wisdom there, but if you want to come and join me as an information athlete and learn more about Smart Wisdom, then of course, feel free to do that. Um, I've said quite a lot here. Always feel free to pop a comment in the comment box and please share why, I keep saying wildly, widely, 
wildly, widely, with anyone who you know is a project manager or manages teams of project managers or has an organisation where project management is key. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a brilliant rest of the day.